Voters in Mesa County will have a lot to consider in this year's upcoming election. Among the items, school board seats in District 51. KREX 5's Chan Sticklin met with candidates running in District C who spoke out on why they should be elected. He joins us live from the Mesa, he joins us live from the studio. Chance? Lena, of the seven candidates running for school board, three of them are fighting for the top spot to represent District C, each running on a different message for the community to consider. Five members represent School District 51 from five different districts. In the District C race, Austin DeWitt, Trish Mayer, and Andrea Heights are competing for the top spot. The Redlands Rotary Club hosted a debate at the venue at Fisher's Market. Trish Mayer, who currently sits on the school board, is also a prosecutor. She is fighting to keep her spot. For me to invest my time, I feel like my investment in the school board is investing my time personally for things that I care about, having been a product of District 51 having raised kids in school district 51 and looking out for kids that I touch every day. She is up against Austin DeWitt and Andrea Heights. Austin is a graduate of Fruita Monument High School and is running because he would like to see more hands-on opportunities for students. I definitely want to bring in more uh, field trips, especially in high school. They don't get out enough uh, for financial literacy classes to go in and see you know, uh, send them out into the community, send them to tax preppers, let them ask questions and let them understand these terms. Heights is also amongst the candidates running. She is a real estate agent with a firm grasp on housing issues with kids in the district. She is also one of three school board candidates the Mesa County Republican Party made a point of endorsing even before she made her platform known. Then it ended up kind of morphing into this this block. Um, I would have to say that I do uh, my ideals probably align with, with obviously Will Jones and Angela Lima. When an audience member asked her why she ran on a conservative slate for a non-political position, Heights admitted she and the other two candidates that the Republican Party endorsed have matching conservative platforms, though the school board is not political. KREX 5 will look more into this point of contention next week and what it could mean for the race. Now, if you're a Mesa County resident, you should have received your ballot for the election earlier this week. For more information on all the candidates running in this year's election, head on over to westernslopenow.com. Reporting first on the Western Slope and live in the studio, I'm Chance Sticklin with KREX 5 News. Lena. Thanks, Chance.